Hey guys, how's it going? So today I got some new levers for my Z900 RS and uh, I ordered these from ASV directly. Uh, they're about 200 bucks shipped and these things are super nice. I got them in the black with a gold thumb wheel. So this is uh, so you can adjust the uh, lever to come in or out, kind of like the sock. Um, so this is going, I believe this is going to be your brake side if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is going to be your, actually that may, that's going to be your clutch side, I'm sorry. Because uh, you have a little clutch cable uh, right there. And this is going to be your brake side. So I'm going to go ahead and install these. Let me show you guys what I've done so far. So to take these levers off, the stock ones, it's pretty simple. Um, this nut right here, this guy is at the bottom you can't see it but it's going to be sitting about right there so you're going to take that off and then this screw this guy uh you're going to take let me get my screwdriver so you're going to take your screwdriver and just back this out so i'm going to take this out and i'll be right back with you guys so here's the stock lever it's out so all you have to do um, is just take this this bolt completely, this actually kind of like threads into here in a way. Um, so you do have to completely screw this out with a screwdriver and then you'll feel it when it stops screwing. So you just yank it out, just pull up and then also hold your lever. Uh, your lever, um, just keep in mind, you're gonna wanna pull the lever kind of out like this because you do have your little hydraulic um, brake. This is for your breaker here. That's kind of your hydraulic pin. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you uh, take these out and let's go get the aftermarket lever and we'll see how they look. Right, so here's your stock lever, your stock Nissan letter, and then you have your aftermarket ASV. So this is their shorty lever. Le lever. Uh, so if you look at it, this is the uh, brake side. So if you look at it, you can see how much shorter you are, about an inch or so, I would say, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit shorter. Uh, but one thing you're going to want to do is this guy. This comes with the kit. This is their little plunger barrel. So you're going to have to insert that into here. Um, and the uh, little arm that I showed you, <clears throat> walk over to the bike. Um, this little guy, that little piece right there, this is going to sit into that basically. Um, so you want to insert that into um, your aftermarket lever here just to make sure uh, everything's sitting nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll go from there. So I got it out. It doesn't appear that there's a specific way you need to drop this in uh, because this is like the same, it's right in the center. So you should be able to just drop it in, boom, like that. And let's see how it goes on the bike. All right, so pretty, pretty simple. All you gotta do is hold that barrel as you flip it upside down. You can see, if you can see that right there, you can see right there that the plunger, the stock OEM plunger is going into the little plunger barrel. And now from this point, we just have to make sure that everything is straight. And we should be able to start threading this screw down. Uh, it looks like we're going down, but you might have to realign this. It doesn't look like I'm actually uh, going down, but let me realign this and I'll show you guys what I'm So we should be able to thread this in now. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you guys are going to have to uh, deal with it. So all we're going to do is thread this completely back down. And then we're going to put that nut on the bottom to give it a little snug. But you can see that the screw is indeed going back into the place where it belongs. So that is tight right there. So what I'm gonna do now is take this nut, which let's make sure we still have play, which we do. Um, we're going to come down here, right there, and thread this guy on if we can get it on there. Actually, hold on, it should be, it should be this guy, I'm sorry. It's gonna be that one right there. So that bolt, we want to go on to what i'm going to do is take a, a little socket and just give it a little snug and we'll right, be guys, good. just so you know this bottom bolt that guy right there is a 10 mil so you can use a 10 mil to take that off so we are completely snugged up our brake side is on 
Um, we're gonna test to make sure that our actual brake lights still work and that the brakes are still working, but there should be no reason because that plunger is in the plunger barrel. Uh, we're getting that same actuating sound that you get when you have the OEM levers. Um, so the nice thing about these levers is that you can really bring them in or adjust them out if you want to. So like if I wanna go way far out, you can have that thing like ridiculous or we can bring it in where I generally like it and bring it in like right there. Or if you wanna go in even more, you can bring it in right there. The possibilities are pretty much endless with these. So let me just like put it, I think right there is probably a good, good distance. Maybe a little bit in. Yeah, that seems, it seems pretty good for one-handed brake. Right, yeah, so let's actually confirm that the brake works. So I'm just gonna put my key in. You guys can see that, but the brake is still working. So yeah, we have done everything right. Uh, obviously I'm gonna ride the bike, just to make sure that, you know, the brakes still work, but there should be no reason why they're not working. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're gonna start the clutch side. So the clutch side is probably gonna be a little more challenging. Uh, one thing I recommend is taking this little wheel right here. Why is that so loose? I don't know, but just spin it right there because we're gonna have to pull the clutch or the clutch cable out when we go and do this. So uh, let's get the clutch. I highly off. recommend if you can use some sort of uh, impact or like uh, or a wrench to remove this bolt because it's kind of buried up here. So that right there is where you want to take this nut off. And then this looks like it just pulls straight out. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that nut. And let's see, let me put that nut there and remove the bolt. I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and remove this bolt. Bolts out. I'm just going to set it on my seat. That's what I'm storing everything. And Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to have to stop recording because it's quite hard to do this while recording. But uh, I'm going to take this off and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, guys. So I had to remove uh, this little kind of switch panel right here uh, because the actual clutch lever was like wedged between this and, you know, the, the, the actual body where the clutch is held and the uh, little control switch here. So I had to just take just one screw here one screw at the bottom. I just had to take those out. Um, so I did that, clutch came right out. Let me show you what the clutch looks like. Um, so clutch and a little panel, a little spring that comes out. You don't need that spring uh, to my knowledge. Let me make sure, yeah, you don't need that spring. Um, that's with the stock clutch lever assembly. So there is a kind of a, a bushing in here in the stock one. All you have to do is just take like a flathead screwdriver and push it out, it'll pop out. I grease mine up a little bit and just put it in the, in this end here. And now it's pretty much ready to be installed on the bike. So I'm gonna start on that process. Awesome. Note before I start doing this is this switch right here. So this is kind of a clutch switch. Um, be very, very careful with that. It is plastic. And if you push anything against this too hard, it will snap. Uh, you don't want to break this piece because then you'll have to order a whole new clutch switch plate and all that fun stuff. And that, that would really suck. And it would make uh, this for a bad time instead of a fun time. So we're going to go ahead and put the clutch in here. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. So it is mostly on. Uh, one thing I do want to say is put this back on. Screw this back together before you put this new clutch on. Because I had to take the bolt back out because I wasn't able to screw <laughs> that bottom screw in there. Um, but look, we have a, an actuating clutch now. So that little, uh, the little clutch pin, uh, can you see, you can kind of see it right there, the clutch cable, the, the pin that's at the end of the clutch cable goes in this little section. And then your cable gets routed through here. Um, and that is pretty much it. So the other thing is too, is you're gonna see, see a little white switch right there clutch is not engaged when the clutch is engaged that's how you want it to look so that is clutch in clutch out clutch in clutch out clutch in clutch out that's how you want it to look it wants to be set up like that um now we can actually like adjust these if we want to um so let me 
go in a little bit. I haven't actually put the screw back on, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that nut back on. Uh, so I have the bolt up here and I'm gonna put that nut right back on that screw that has uh, some lubricant on it. So let's go ahead and do all right, it. guys, so it is all done. Uh, we got your clutch side on and we have our brake side on. Um, I might have to play around with the clutch a little bit um, just because since we have a shorter throw now on the actual clutch, I might have to bring this out and I actually had to loosen this a little bit when I was putting the clutch side on. So I was thinking about starting the bike up and I have the bike on the stand right now. So maybe we can actually see uh, where the clutch is engaging if it's uh, too early or too, um, or it's just on all the time. So I'm just gonna fire the bike up and let's uh, see how she, she goes. Stand. That probably would help, huh? Yeah, 